Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be here. My name is Ali Babai. I'm a postdoc at Dental Restorative Science Department here at UCSF. And tonight I want to talk to you about Dentia, which is simply a better restorative feeling which works better for patients and for the dentist. I have a really great team. Uh, my class team are Peter Wu, who is an assistant professor at orthopedic surgery department here at UCSF. And Manling Wang, she's a visiting scholar here at UCSF. And our mentors are David Hensel, who is a CSO at uh, Naked Biome, and John Ryan, who is a managing director at Wells Fargo Strategy Capital. And I have a really great advisor on my team, too. Stefan Habelitz is a professor at the same department as I am, and he's a co-founder of Dentia. And also Joel White, he's a professor, he's a dentist at the same department, and he's a chair of a uh, division of preclinical simulations and biomaterial and bioengineering at Dental Restorative Science Department at UCSF. All right, the problem that uh, we have found a solution for it, it's called dental caries. And 92% of the people in U.S. have this problem. And it happens when bacteria invade the tooth and they secrete the acid, which will dissolve the mineral portion of enamel and dentin and leave behind the cavity. As, as you see um, in the photo to the right, um, the enamel lesion are pretty shallow, so there are materials in the market that is able to repair that. But as we go deep down to the dentin, which is underneath of enamel, the lesion is big, and there's almost no product in the market that is able to repair that, and we have found a solution for this problem. Um, the conventional approach to treat these caries is that the dentist will drill through the teeth, they will take out the big chunk of tooth, which includes uh, unhealthy tissue and surrounding healthy part. And then they will refill that with the filling materials, which is passive inert, such as amalgam, composite, or glass ionomer. And this way, not only the repair does not happen, but also patients will lose their healthy tissue unnecessarily. And as an alternative to that approach, it's a minimal invasive approach, which is the approach that we take in Dentia. And in that approach, we would only uh, remove a small fraction of the lesion, which is the infected part, and we leave behind the affected and damaged part, which is a damaged collagen, but is healthy. And we have found a solution, a cement for that, that it will be replaced with the infected part, and we recap the enamel with another restorative materials, and over the time, that damaged lesion will be completely restored to the natural dentin. And the strength of the dentin will come back within six months. Our solution is actually a biomimetic regenerative cement. It's composed of a bioactive material and a process-directing agent, which is a protein. And what that protein does, it will carry that particles through the collagen fiber, which is the fibers in the lesion. And then out of that integration, a new mineral, which is a hydroxyapatite, and it's a mineral on the dentin, will form. And the way that mineral form is exactly the same way that mineral uh, grow in the dentin. is a biomimetic process. As a proof of concept, we created artificial lesion in our lab. As you see on the left, it's lesion created in the lab. We treat that, I mean, we feel that lesion with our material. And as you see on the right, the lesion is completely closed. And the new form dentin is indistinguishable from the native dentin. It's fully mineralized uh, lesion. We have also tested our solution with other product uh, in the market, which will create another advantage for, for cement, which means the repairs without gap. And as you see on the left, we again created artificial lesion. We treat that lesion, we fill that lesion with the resin modified glass ionomer, or a glass ionomer, which is currently a gold standard. And then you see, uh, you see the arrow pointing out to that lesion that not only repair does not happen, but it leaves behind a gap. But as you see on the right, we treat that lesion with our cements, and as you see that whitish area, the cement mineralizes from bottom to the top until right to the capping materials, and it leaves no gap. And gaps-free bonding reduces caries recurrence. Surprisingly, this kind of a cement has about $150 million market size uh, based on a couple of years ago market research. And you might know some of the uh, companies that are addressing that market size, including 3M. The materials that they have been producing can be categorized as a passive material or as a bioactive material, but we are creating a bioactive biomimetic material. Different materials, different strategies lead to different properties. For instance, amalgam is one of the 
passive material and dentists they don't like that because it has a bad handling and it doesn't look good on the teeth. But biodentin, for instance, is one of the bioactive materials. Um, it had, has a bit of handling and also uh, it's, uh, it's at, uh, at a, a high, uh, lower setting time, which costs dentists money and time, but our, our cement would actually result in a superior outcome for both patient and the dentist. We have protected this superior material with the pan through UCSF, and the patent is on the composition and also on, also on method with the priority date back to 2017. There's a little regulatory risk uh, to commercialize this product as it's a, a, a class 2, 5, 10K. We have uh, many predicates for that as well, actually. Uh, we intend to develop a full kit that is able to be distributed by uh, um, uh, dedicated distributors in the dental restorative science that who are already selling this material to the dentist and establishing such an agreement with these distributors because there are a limited number of those in the uh, in the dental restorative science which which will facilitate or go to market strategy there have been a significant merge and acquisitions activity in the dental restorative market which will provide liquidity for the technical entrepreneurs and also for our investor and here are the milestones that we think is sufficient and necessary to accomplish that. Um, and then we are actually talking to the folks from business school to recruit or find a partner for Dentia to help to smooth that transition for us. Uh, so in the summary, Dentia addresses a significant restoration mar dental market. We, are, we have a superior product that is able to mimic natural dent informations. We are actually a platform technology that which could work and introduce minerals to the all mineralized tissues, not only dentin. And we are actually protected with strong IP. Uh, we are going to use the already established and existed strong distribution channel in the market. And there's a history of acquisitions uh, in the field. So um, that's why you have to invest in dentia. So by, <laughs> by saying, I just want to thank everybody for listening to my conversation and uh, open up for questions. Uh, thank you. Since I'm actually getting a lot of my oral cavities redone, this is very relevant for me. Um, they were all before I was 12, though, so uh, that's just that. I just, you mentioned that it strengthened over six months. Uh, as a patient, tell me about the patient experience. Is there anything different that I have to do as a patient if I get this procedure with dentia uh -huh. versus anything else on the market today? Uh, so we've, most of our data that we have collected in artificial lesion, such as uh, uh, deep lesion and uh, shallow lesion, so we have recently moved to natural lesion that we extracted from the patient at UCSF dentistry clinic. And like, for instance, at three months, we have we are being like a 40% recovery of the lesion totally. So, uh, But the other products in the market actually they're not able to repair um, these kind of caries at all. That's the... But can I, I eat on it? Can I, is there something different that I have to do in terms of after getting this procedure with this material? Do I have to not, not eat on that side of the mouth or anything? No, there's, no, no. There's nothing special that you have to take it to with it. Uh, it will refill and completely restore with the enamel just at, in a session within 15 minutes. Yeah. Whenever I see something in dentistry, and it's not that often, so thank you for doing that. <laughs> like, really, sure. Right, exactly. You know. um, I always ask myself, how is it differentiating the dentistry practice? Because there's a big marketing question. There. Right, yeah. Does it, do you see it being that you know, they're able to differentiate on cost? How can this make the dentist more effective in attracting market or their margins and so forth? How do you see that? Um, first of all, based on our customer discovery, one of the important things that dentists care about is the saving the chair time for the dentist. Saving the chair time for the dentist. So awesome is actually is a is a lower than half of the market's uh, products in the market. So we really improving the dentist, dentist experience in that regard. But about the like a price, um, like we have not completely come out with the uh, price estimation, but. Uh, based on the uh, sources that we could provide the protein from, we can create a competitive price too. Can I, can I add something to that? Sure. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, you're correct. There's not much happening in dentistry in generally. But in, uh, over the last 10, 15 years, actually something is happening. So it's a change in philosophy. These uh, lesions, these treatments, you know, these cavity preparations that were invented in the 1890s where you carve out large areas 
are no longer really popular. There's a change in philosophy. All schools start teaching minimal invasive dentistry where they remove only a portion of the lesion and then restore the tooth, leaving some caries behind. So this procedure has already been done, but it is done without any remineralization process, without any of our product, obviously. So this could just be added to the same procedure that many schools are teaching at the moment.